Hey, what's going on guys? It's Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming and today we're doing not enough items or EDI, whatever you want to call it, one of the best mods in the game and it is updated for 1.8 and if it updates for future versions until it hits 1.9 or whatever the next big update is, I'll update the titles and you know what's working because that's what I do. So first thing we're going to do today is that we're going to make sure we start up our Minecraft for running in 1.8 or whatever version you were looking for. What you do is you start this up. I already done this, so I don't want to do it again because it just wastes time. You go to profile, you go to release 1.8. Click on that, make sure it's saved. Make sure it shows up down there. Hit play. Just run Minecraft. When you gets up, quit it. After you gets up and running, you gotta quit because we don't mod when a Minecraft running and messes stuff up. It just it just doesn't work. So next thing we are gonna do is that we're gonna look at the mod pages. First thing is Forge. Forge is an amazing mod. It makes it so much easier for these mod makers to do work. What we're gonna do is look for the latest version or recommended whatever one you want to install. Installer, installer. Click on those two, or just one. Either one of those two. It's automatic installer. And it'll show down in the bottom if you got Chrome or in your downloads if you're using something else. Pull it onto your desktop. After you download, after you click the button, it'll take it to a little ad that say skip ad. You watch the ad, then skip the ad, and then you download the mod, and then put it on your desktop. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the NEI or Trigger Bowl Mods page. Where first thing we're going to see right here is downloads. It tells you all the stuff they have for it, but we're just going to go to downloads right now. And they're promoting the 1.8 development build. This is another development build. It's just an early kind of build for everything, okay? So, Chinko Core, you need that. Click on that, Universal. Not enough items, you need that, click on that, universal. Those two right there will do the same thing. You bring it to your ad fly, you skip ad, put it to the side. Second one, not enough items, hit the universal. It'll skip ad, download the file, put it on the side. So now you have three things downloaded. Jinko Core, not enough items, and then Forge, your latest or recommended versions. Right? Yeah, this one of these two. Okay, so now you have all that on your desktop right here. Very nice and simple. First thing you want to do is take Forge. Double click on Forge. It should open up. If not, right click. Open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. Click that. It'll open up. If that doesn't work, open with Choose the Full Program. You look in here. Look in here. If not, browse your browse your files. Browse your Java files so you find that. It's very important. To find your Java TM platform SE binary because it won't work if you can't find that file. If not, pause the video right now, look up a video that shows you how to find that file. It's pretty easy, but just in case you can't do it, I want you to know why you need to open it in that file. It'll come up like this, like a little little GUI HUD, whatever you want to call it. Make sure it's on install client, make sure it goes right to your roaming.minecraft, and hit OK. Now, this will take up to like 30 seconds to like a couple minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. If you have an older computer, you would know that it's going to take a little bit. If not, just kind of, you know, wait a few seconds. It should be done pretty fast. And then everything I had to do. And now on to the next part. Let's put this up here. Let's take Minecraft. Let's double click on Minecraft. we got to start Minecraft up. This is the easiest way. It, it stops a lot of confusion. So this is what I try to make it, make it for you guys. We want to stop confusion. Hit edit profile. Go to releases. Go all the way down to the bottom. You'll see Forge. The Forge we just downloaded. The same version. Hit that. Hit save. Make sure it shows up down here. If it doesn't show up down here, go back and make sure you save it. Hit play. Now when you do this part, you're automatically loading Forge. And now Forge is definitely going to be there for you. And all we got to do is put the mods in. When you mess this part up, it doesn't work. So like I kind of stopped showing it. Assumed you know how to do this part. I showed you like a shortcut. But now I can't, because too many people are messing up. So three, Coda Pack, Forge My Loader, and Minecraft Forge. Quit. Make sure you quit. No, we're doing Minecraft for right now. Next thing we're going to do is that you can push Windows R. It says percent that, um, that, <laughs> I can't say it, app data, app data, app data, roaming file. Hit OK. Go down here to your dot Minecraft. Go down here to mods. 
and that's where we want to go. Or, if that doesn't work for you, go down to your Start button, your Windows button, whatever you want to call it, Start Windows. Hit Shift 5, that'll bring up Percent. Go App, Data, then Shift 5 again, or bring up Percent again. That'll bring it to your Roman file right there. Come down to List, go to your Dot .minecraft, go down your list, go to your Mods folder. Nice and empty. Now what you can do is that you can either drag and drop these files, or you can copy and paste. Either one you want to do, it doesn't matter. You can do it either way, whatever works. If they don't, they won't drag in. Most of the times they don't drag in because your Minecraft is running. So make sure your Minecraft's off. But just in case. All right, so exit this out. Start up your Minecraft. Now your Minecraft's like doing its thing all over again. It's like, oh look, new mods. Make sure your Minecraft is on the forge that we just installed. Hit play. Now we're going to be starting to install in, or starting to install the chicken coal with like the NEI and enough items and stuff. So it'll take a few seconds to load up again. Now we got five mods out of five mods. Now what mod do you think we got now? We got the chicken coal core, and we got not enough items. Pretty cool, right? Let's open this up, and this should be a lot quicker than all the other ones, because... We just need to start the world. We don't need to spawn stuff in or nothing. We just need to look at our HUD. Our hood. And we should be fine. And here comes our world. Oh my god, I'm going to drown. Why does it have to be when I'm drowning in? Crazy. Crazy. I always like to look at the world just in case it's like, wow, that's really cool. Let me show the seat. NEI is right here. So we just pull the stuff. Oh wait, no, we're not in creative. We can't pull stuff in. But, um, this is how it works. You go to inventory, you got cheat mode, uncheat mode, but you have to open it up in your config file. I'm not going to show you how to do that. But you can't just go, I want to cheat. Okay, let's cheat. And then you go back and you're like, oh, okay, now I'm cheating. No. You have to open it up. You know how to, like, bypass the commands. All right. And then you have your stuff. If you click on, um, let's see, how to make stone slash. I'll show you how to do that. I don't make a zombie spawner. You don't know how to make a zombie spawner. Nobody does. There's a, well, there's a mod for that, if you want to know. And this is to show you how to do all the recipes. All the recipes for everything you need in Minecraft. And as you add more and more and more mods, you get more and more and more recipes. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Peace!